Mystery still reigns over the Lebanese political crisis. The French government says that the fact that Saad Hariri has been allowed to travel here to Paris shows that the widespread speculation in Lebanon that he was essentially being held hostage by Saudi Arabia in Riyadh and had been coerced by the Saudi government into resigning isn't the case. France says that Hariri is free to travel where he wants and say what he wants. But many in Lebanon are not convinced. They say the fact that the Saudis have allowed him to come here doesn't necessarily disprove that he is still essentially being controlled by them. And they point to things like his two adolescent children who are at school in Saudi Arabia and could thus be used as leverage. Now, Har Hariri didn't clarify his intentions in Paris. He simply said he will be traveling back to Beirut later this week in order to meet with President Michel Aoun, who has thus far refused to accept his resignation unless and until it's handed over in person. Now, there's a lot at stake here for the French President Emmanuel Macron. He's trying to re-establish France as a key diplomatic power in the Middle East. But in order to broker a diplomatic solution here, he would need to be considered as a credible and neutral broker by both sides of the argument. And France's attempt to improve relations with Saudi Arabia over the last couple of weeks, with the Lebanon case in mind, have managed to upset Iran, which is, of course, the key backer of Hezbollah in Lebanon. The Iranian foreign ministry said on Friday that Macron was no longer a neutral broker in the situation. And without being taken seriously by both sides, he won't be able to broker a diplomatic deal. Elena Casas, CGTN, Paris.